G'day and welcome back for more Escape from Purgatory. Last time I asked you what you thought the HCSA stood for for Capac's solar ship. It turns out you're a lot more creative than he is. You suggested names like Highly Crashable Sandwich Accumulator, High Capac Sandwich Assembler, Horrible Capac Solar Assembly, His Royal Capacnesses, Ship of Awesomeness, Happy Capac Smile Academy, Hinges Clang Solar Arrays, Help Capac's Ship Exploded. Here comes Splitzy again, hilarious Capac space accessory, even the rather clever, since Capac replied with this when I asked him what it stood for, who can say? High combustible solar accumulator, horribly complicated support assembly, high class solar array, heroic Capax solar armature, and even hunky Capax solar array. But no, no it was the boring one. High capacity solar array. I can't... I think capac has been replaced by a doppelganger because there's no way he'd be that sensible. Or maybe this clone's just a good one. Who knows? Anyway, on with today's episode. G'day and welcome back for more A Grand Tour. More? Why is there always more? Well, you know why. Huh? What the... Um... Yes, it looks like someone has found oh, us. Jeez, it's a ghost! What? It... <laughs> Whoa! No, turn, turn! Ah! Come back, there's a sensor! Turn, turn your jetpack on! You just there appeared is... in front of me out of the ether. <laughs> okay, there is a warhead there's a bomb. that says surprise, and there is a sensor. Help! We're all gonna die! I think we've already set off the sensor. I'm gonna hide over here. Uh... Oh, hold on. Why is there a... It's a sneaky control panel. Yes. Ooh. Speaking of sneaking, maybe I can sneak my way out of here. No, no, no. Don't you try that. Here. Yeah, I guess we could dig our way to freedom. No, I was going to grind off that sensor. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't think I can get through here. What color is it if it's active? Uh, green, I think it goes blue if it's detected someone. Uh. Oh. Is that? Yep. Yep, okay. There you go, sense is gone. Uh. Okay. There is a sign over here. Do you guys mind accepting the peace request from faction GRE? Less chance of us accidentally shooting each other. <laughs> Taros has given us a GPS. It was uh, a joke! It was a practical joke! Uh, let's just be glad it was. Mm. Yeah, I don't need a new spacesuit. Maybe you could get the brown one, like I had. Oh yeah. Well, <sighs> great timing on that comment, <laughs> beer seeker. Oh man, how did they find us? I have no idea. Okay, I have saved the GPS. All right. Has this always been like this? Has what always been like what, Kavak? This interior block over here. No. Uh, when I came on... Oh, Sauros has built that. He must have ground through to get to something. Hmm. Uh, let me get rid of it. Uh, all what right. Else he's, I wonder what else he's replaced around here. No idea. Uh, but I will deploy the solar collector. Yes, you go do that. I will fix things. I'm also going to increase the gravity. So that's too low. Cheeky, cheeky Sauros. You'll have to think of a practical joke you can play on him when we go to vi visit him on whichever planet it was. At least he's gifted us some uh, magnesium. Yeah, that could be handy. <laughs> My thrusters aren't working. But it says I got 89 hydrogen. Where are you? Oh, wait. Is my tank on reserve? Ah, okay. Uh, the we hydrogen tank, tank was switched off. I guess we did that to save power as well. 
Oh, it's very dark in here. Oh yeah, that's right. I I do. I switch off all the tanks because tanks use a tiny amount of power, but we have so many tanks that it me it actually adds up to something significant. Uh, we might have an issue with solar collection. What's that? Uh, it's night time. But it's space. Yeah, the sun is on the other side of the planet from us. Just check and face roughly where it is and see if you get some sun anyway. You may be surprised by what you find. Uh, okay. Yep, looks like I'm getting power. I mean, I can't see the asteroid. Uh, so hopefully I got enough clearance to open up. I really wish Saros hadn't messed with my light settings. Right. I'm doing a physical inspection to make sure I'm not too close to the asteroid. <laughs> right, I should be clear. Oh, did you want to try and run the script? Huh? What script? Oh, the angling script. Nah, yeah. that's alright. You're happy to just manage it for now? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Solar panels deployed. Getting full charge off each of the panels. Excellent. Alright. Guess I can leave this sitting here. Um. Hmm. Should I leave the thrusters going? Or should I turn them off? Uh, I'd leave them going just in case those hinges are creating a little bit of shift and you don't want the shift the ship yeah, yeah. floating away. That would be my worry if you turn them off and leave the gyro on as well. Okay, when you when it's yeah, out yeah. there, I'd I just leave everything on. Okay, batteries are charging. All right, what else are we up to? Um, that's a good question. There we go, that's looking better in here now. I was just kind of finishing off what this drill head can do and then I was going to get rid of it. Uh, the refinery is still working through a whole lot of silver and stone. Hmm. You seem to have missed something downstairs. I have? Yep. what I miss? Uh, actually, uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no, no, uh, leave it. it. Leave it. Don't touch it. I want to try something. I can't remember what I was going to do with this uh, space. Can't see. I think it's kind of working. You trying to wear it as a hat? Yeah. Hang on. Uh, a little bit forward. A little bit further. I think that'll be about right. I need to color it a different color. Hang on, let me see if I can make it go orange. How's that? I don't know, I can't see it. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to make this a thumbnail. Do you want me to send you a... Oh, no, lean forward again. Is the light switched on? No, it doesn't get power. Oh. Uh, but I have sent you what you look like. See if you are happy with it. How's that? You happy with that one? Sure. Perfect. <sighs> okay, now I can get rid of it? Yeah, if you want. So, we were going to rebuild the booze bus at some point. That was part of the plan, wasn't it? Um... Yeah, we got to do that. And we were going to try some piracy. Yeah, that's right. You're talking about making attack vehicles so we could yeah. go and try to steal stuff. Yeah. Though I haven't seen anything come past. Um, so maybe we should, especially since you've built a connector up here, maybe you could start setting up a projector to protect the booze bus so we can place down the blocks we want of it and oh, we start getting it rebuilt. I guess we might have enough room in here. I think we do. The booze bus wasn't that big and this is a pretty big cavern. 
Uh, but if you can start having a look and then I'll, I'll put the blueprint in it because I've got a blueprint of it before I crashed it. And then we can kind of lay down the blocks we want and not place down all of the like wind turbines and whatnot. Uh, something else I was thinking would be a good idea for us is some sort of planetary shuttle that's smaller so we don't have to take the whole booze bus down. Or the oh, whole yeah. survival kit rover. Some of it's uh, single grid with some wheels so we can drive around, but yeah. a bit smaller. Oh, no, there's an assert transport square. We will uh -huh. have piracy targets. Uh, got a, got a pro project drawn up. Okay, let me add the blueprint to it. It is connected to the base, yeah? Yeah, it's on this uh, connector up here. Go near to it. Okay, blueprints. Booze. Booze plus six. How's that looking? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Took a bit of a moment. Uh. Okay. Um. Can you? Hang on, I'm coming. Direction up. is it facing? Where is? The... Oh, there's the projector. Yeah, I think it needs to be. Uh, rotated. Uh. 90 degrees clockwise. Is that better or worse? Uh, that's I think that didn't really do anything, did it? No, no, that was. We probably want it. Whoa, what? That way? No, I was thinking we want it lengthways this way. So it's going right. across Can't here. Tell. Oh, okay. Like that way. Uh, I think the best thing we can do is do that because I don't know how I can get it to another angle. Uh, hold on, which bits do we actually need? We don't need the atmospheric thruster section. Nope. Uh, yeah, that should. No, you moved it too far down. That should be. Yeah, that should be all right. Now, if we were to build it there, can you get? your power thing into your connector I'm gonna no. guess no so I, could, I guess I could probably fly it the long way around yeah actually that should be fine but what if we move this projection over to the other side uh sure oh that's going into the wall yeah you want to bring it over this way yep that way so that is how much further can I go yeah keep going Yeah, that 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 should be fine. All right, so that's not going into the rock anywhere. It is a fair way away, so it's going to be a bit of a pain to get resources to. But oh, it's also sticking out the asteroid, Kavak. Yeah, uh, you could bring it, reel it back in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's that all right. Do it. All right, cool. Um, so I guess we just grab a bunch of steel plate. Oh, we should finish off your connector here because that's going to be a convenient source for resources what do you mean finish it it's already finished the conveyor linkage isn't uh, so how do we actually build this thing so you're going to need to build a line of blocks up to it and mm. then once you've got that built uh, you can start placing down the blocks that are part of it does that make sense uh, how do I how do I know if the blocks are aligned with it or not Start from our base. Oh, I see. So, are you thinking a similar idea to me, which is the core bit of it is quite sound, and yeah, we can just yeah. kind of make it into a nice little flying ship with a bit of space inside, but with perhaps a. I was kind of thinking of sticking the wheels on just for show, because it is a bus. Sure. Didn't expect Wait, what? that question to require so much thinking time. You want to put wheels on it? Yeah. I was just thinking we'd leave the wheel wells and put something in them. No, I was thinking put wheels on it. You can put fixed wheels if you don't want to have real wheels. I mean, if we ever wanted to land on a moon, we could probably land it on a moon, but I don't think we ever want to land it back on Purgatory. I think that was a mistake. 
Alright, conveyor's linked. You can now use the uh, connector to grab your materials. Yeah. If I can find it. Doesn't have lights on it? Yeah. How, how is it hard to find then? Because I don't know which way is up. Hmm. 226,000 kilograms of silver ore. That's a lot. That's a lot more than we're likely to ever need. <laughs> Even if I do keep destroying booze buses. You know, we could always sell it. On the black market. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could take some of it down onto purgatory and trade it for pre-refined magnesium, potentially. I can't remember if we talked about this last time, but we did talk about the idea of potentially hiring people to help us attack some of these piracy targets, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Ah, we can pay them in silver. We can. That actually sounds like a legit way to pay someone. Oh, that seems like a lot. What's that? Seems like a lot of power. What seems like a lot of power? Uh, the large grid ore detector. Uh, gold, silver, phosphorus, carbon, and iron. Oh, right. That's what you meant by power. I thought you meant by, like, the amount of power it was taking to do its thing. I don't know that, too. It's like 2,000 watts or something. That's 2 kilowatts. Yeah. It's not that much. It's about the same as a gyro. Oh. It's weird wandering about inside a ghost bus. <laughs> Are you happy doing that while I try and finish off the airtight, making the base airtight? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm pretty much just welding up plates. Yeah. Just getting the basic stuff down. That's what I figured you'd be up to. Nice and simple. I don't have to think too hard. You love thinking hard. It looks like I've accomplished things. <laughs> it's like when I'm unpacking something, I like to unpack the biggest things first, because that most quickly looks like something has been achieved. <sighs> the illusion of accomplishment. Is that why you don't finish things? And yes. Alrighty. Two naps in ten minutes. Wanna roll tonight. <laughs> Alright, last pass of the drill and then I can get rid of it and I can airtight our base. And then you can get to work airtighting this ship. No, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave you working on the ship and instead what I'm going to do is work on the shuttle. Ah. Uh. Yeah. The booze bus is kind of more your baby anyway, so I figure it's probably better you work on it. And is it? Make any adjustments. Well, you did more stuff on it than me. I did more of the work on it, but the decision making was yours. Uh, more so than usual. A little bit. You designed all the wheel welly bits. I guess I designed the sort of cockpit area. Yeah, which is a little more critical than the wheel wells. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta keep, gotta keep those the mud off somehow. Yeah. But anyway, I think I think it'd be more useful if I spent some time designing a uh, shuttle to get us down to the planet and hopefully back up from purgatory in a single grid that is reusable. It'll be small grid, but we'll be able to put a new survival kit on it because we've got silver, so it can be another yet another respawn point for us. Oh yeah, which is good. The more the merrier of those things. Ooh, maybe we could build the whole thing out of survival kits. No. This is why I'm making it. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got all this silver, we may as well do something with it. Um, well, when you have made some progress, you, and when I've had a bit more time to get some materials, you'll see what I'm up to that explains where I'm putting some of the silver. Uh. Oh, are you doing the, the sterile tiles like I was talking about last time? <laughs> No, no, I'm not. Although I do need to give this place a paint job. The fact that it's also uniform is boring. We need to download more RimWorld mods for Space Engineers. How about Space Engineers mods for RimWorld? That too. 
I mean, both games have awesome modding communities. Oh, it's a bit of damage over here. Some damage on these, what? Some of these armor blocks and the blueprint are a bit mangled. Oh, yeah, because this blueprint was taken after the Reaver did the damage to it. Ah. So I'm not sure we got all of the blocks that needed repairing. Because it was taken shortly before launch. The nice thing about this is we'll get all those um, LCDs back that people did stuff on. Because the info on the LCDs should be part of the uh, blueprint. Okay. Should. Well, find okay. out soon enough. Otherwise I'll have to go into creative and capture them all so then we can bring them back into the game. Because that'd be sad to miss to lose all those, I think. Especially as once we're mobile in that thing, it's going to be a lot harder for people to, <laughs> to leave their mark. We'll have to put... Oh, that's what I should do. I should make some publicly accessible LCDs in this base, just outside the doors. Oh, yeah. So people can come along and write their name on it. Ow. Oh. What's... Ow. Oh. I got all the energy, but I forgot to get more plates. Ow. Oh. I flew see. back and started welding and nothing happened. Stupid sun moving around all the time. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say that, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. You about to face plant into something? A oh, rock wall just came out of nowhere trying to bite me. Uh, there is a Reaver 6.67 k's away, Kavak. You might want to bring your ship inside. Oh dear. There are two Reavers, actually. There's a Reaver 5.2 k's away as well. Oh, it's dear. closing. I think the, the Slayer is l going away. But I think that invader is going to be here a little while. Hopefully our broadcast isn't that wide. Let me just check what our bases is. We can... Broadcast radius. Our biggest is 34 meters. We, sh we should be fine. But I'd still bring you a power ship inside. Um, I can't... Because what's its broadcast range? I have no idea. If you go to the beacon, it'll tell you. Oh, no! Oh, no, I probably shouldn't... No! I made a bad decision. Uh, should I fly off and try to lead this invader yes. away? It yes, doesn't seem to be headed... The Reaver's headed towards the transport. Oh, okay, phew. Yeah, okay, just bring it in. Bring it in, let it take out that transport square, and then... Ooh. Uh, I'm going to get myself a hydrogen bottle. Then we can go out and check on the spoils. Okay. Does that not interest you? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, we are also out of ice. Oh, good. That's exactly what we want. Oh, no. But I think we've got an oxygen tank full of oxygen, and we've got several hydrogen tanks full of hydrogen. The Reavers have dealt with what was there. Uh, and it appears all the signals have gone. Of course they have. <laughs> you can head back out if you want. <laughs> How full are your batteries on your... Power ship? Not much at the moment. 1.2 megawatt each. Uh oh. What now? Cut back. Were your battery set? Did you just turn off all your batteries? Or did you press Y when you were in a ship? Yeah, I turned off the ship. You turned off the base! Oh. And every ship attached to it! Okay. You don't use Y! <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Never use Y or P. They are bad controls. Then why are they there? They're controls that should have been removed or greatly altered from in the game a long time ago. Given I had to do a rant in my intro video saying, Don't use P. P is bad. Never use P. P, 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 P. And the drill is gone. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Don't know why that made me think of that. Uh, the drill is on. It's on the street. 
Yeah. <laughs> Don't know why that came into my head. It was weird. Space madness, I bet. Well, from what I hear, you're a sanity vampire, so... Oh, yeah. It does make a lot of sense. That's certainly one fan theory. <laughs> I, for one, support this particular fan theory, because it makes me look better. Does it? What? You're to blame for me being insane. That's better than me just being insane. Hmm. Arguably. I think the jury's out. No. I definitely think I'm happier when you're to blame for something. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder you engineer so many situations in which to point the blame at me. <laughs> I don't do that much engineering of the situations. And really, if we look at the last couple of years, they've actually seemed more my fault than yours or the last year you didn't hear that did you hear what exactly mm. sounds suspicious no nothing exploded it's all fine well we've got most of a hull cool we're we gonna stick with four big thrusters on this thing or should we drop down to two Ah, uh, no, I think four, because it's going to be pretty heavy. Like, what it was when we tried to take off is less than what it's going to be, because we're going to need to add jump drives to it. We're going to need to have some sort of hangar facility for holding the um, shuttle, that sort of stuff. So I reckon it'll end up bigger than it was. Hey, Capac. I've pressurized our base. Ah, nice. So please don't vent it. We don't have an unlimited supply of oxygen. Yeah, it's not like it grows on trees. Yeah, jeez. What? I'm gonna die. Uh, how? Of hunger and thirst. Uh, Ow. Uh, takes a little while to die from those, so you'll be fine. Says the person who died from it in the single player game. Oh, wonderful, we've run out of iron. Ah. Suppose that means you want me to go dig some? No, we've got. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. If you mine some regular iron ore, that would actually be a lot more effective than the many, many hundreds of thousands of kilos of stone that I've been using to do it. Although, you can probably wait because we do still have all that stone to work through. Yeah, it's fine if I'm not getting steel plates. Well, actually, I've pretty much done all the armor blocks. It all needs fancy nonsense now. Well, we've got a base right here, but it's more convenient for me to run past the base and drop everything in the connector that the rover is docked to. Huh. Rather than wait for the airlock. What? Wait for the airlock? Yeah. You just open one door, close the other door, open another door, walk through. Yep. Or I could go to the connector and open no doors. Fair enough. I just gotta find the tiny gap between the rover and the connector. I do have the base depressurized at the moment though. So I had to knock out some walls to build the next... to build something that I'd forgotten to put in here. Which I only realized when I started decorating. Okay, it should process your iron and then the stone before it gets to the silver now hopefully those few thousand you're getting of iron go so much further than the um, stone does all right i'm repressurizing the base just so you don't go but you told me it was depressurized you did tell Make me it was depressurized he lied to me see as predicted I don't have to put up with this cheek. <laughs> you kind of do. I'm a qualified spaceship assemblyman. Oh, you started ordering up the bits for the thrusters, have you? Yeah. Figured we want to get this thing moving. How much cobalt's it asking for? I 
thousand. Oh, it's wait, five hundred. That's just build two of the large thrusters for now until we build the shuttle. Because okay. we're gonna have to come up with more cobalt to build all four of them. So don't just build those two and then stop. Yeah, yeah. Don't build any of the other thrusters. Because I'm gonna need cobalt to build the thrusters on the shuttle, and I am almost done with decorating the downstairs area of our base. Decorating? Yeah. I've been doing all this hard work and you've been decorating. Energy low. You're just jealous that I've been decorating. Just jealous that I've been consigned to hard labor. <laughs> While you mess around with what fabric you want for the curtains. There aren't any curtains. There aren't any windows. Exactly. So why are you wasting so much time trying to choose the right material? It's absurd. <laughs> uh, you're a strange man. It's madness. Now, I know for a fact that the uh, Skippy is a small class of vessel. That would be the sort of thing we'd want to take out if we managed to get some sort of uh, attack craft built. Oh, that thing's pretty... There's a wasp that's pretty close. Yeah, the wasp is a bit more well equipped. Yeah, but it's also coming sort of this way. It could be a troublemaker. And I don't have a gun. Mm. Hmm? I think I might need that tracking script you were talking about. You having to spend too much time fiddling with it? Uh, every time I come back to it, it's completely off angle. Well, why don't I try and talk you through using it? Sure. Uh, so you'll need to add a programmable block to the uh, thing first. Oh, did I not? I thought I'd already added one when I was building it. You might have. Right. Programmable block acquired. Cool. Um, I'm not sure. You might actually be subscribed to Izzy's Solar Alignment script okay so what do i do so you select the programmable block yep and go to edit edit uh browse scripts yep and then see if you've got it and if you don't i'll come out and place the script on there are no subscribed workshop scripts no oh. apparently i've always done all the scripting yep i've never done any scripting Okay, so normally you would go onto the workshop and you would subscribe to the script that you're planning on using. Browse and subscribe workshop items. What am I looking for? So, uh, Easy's solar alignment. Oh, the third one that comes up. Mm. It's very popular. Okay, subscribe. Because it's very good. Okay. Easy's solar alignment. Alright, so copy to editor. There we go. Then what do I do? Then have a read through the instructions at the top. Because there'll be a bit you'll need to enable for making it work with gyroscopes. Uh, name of the group not needed in gyro mode. By enabling gyro mode, the script will no longer use rotors, but all gyroscopes on the grid. This mode only makes sense when used on a ship in space. Gyro mode deactivates... Put your main cockpit flight seat or remote control in solar reference group. Okay. Cockpit as in block group. Solar reference. Okay. Then what? Have a look at what the script's showing on the programmable block. On the programmable block. Warning rotor group not found. Have you put it on the other group like have you put it into the other mode like there should have been an enable thing for putting it into gyro mode uh ah hold on so all use gyro mode true and in theory when you hop out of the cockpit maybe it should do it mm. what's it saying saying it's aligned 
Yeah, I was saying that before. Nope, now it's working. Oh, what did you do? Because that's not you. Uh, I was just taking time. It just doesn't run very frequently. Oh. In order to preserve um, server performance. You're just going to help it. Energy yeah, I'll low. Get it into position a bit. Yeah, there you go. You did it. Alrighty. Your first scripting experience. Hooray! I'm now a master hacker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hack my way into the the bank's mainframe and steal all the money from the server with this Ethernet cable. That's how hacking works, right? Sure. Uh, would you like to decorate upstairs? In the base? Like the main hall? Uh, alright, let me come see what shenanigans you've been getting up to. Alrighty. Or shall I come check out what you've been up to first? Uh, sure. I just gotta get some food though. Okay. It is coming together though. There are a lot of blocks there that you don't need to place down though. And probably a fair bit of this armor that you didn't need to, but that's not too bad. Yeah, if we need to change up some of the armor, that's fine. But this is pretty much all I can build without building some of the fancy blocks. Yeah, I mean, we probably do want to get down the assembler and the refinery. And definitely, and the batteries, of course. But that's uh, not too bad. I was mostly just doing the, the thrusters and the tanks. Yeah. Actually, that, yeah, that's a good place to start, the big tanks. Um, cool. Well, that's progress. Now let me show you what I've been up to. And hopefully I can get most of a shuttle layout done uh, by the time you've decorated the upstairs area in here. Uh, how do I get in this way? Doop -doo, you can turn your lights off. Welcome to our pressurized base. Hmm. It's a bit spartan, isn't it? Yeah, this is the bit you're going to decorate. Oh. <laughs> Come with me. Come with me and you'll, you'll see. see a world that's full of cryopods and no one Plants. in them. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of cryopods. Yeah. Well, I mean, we may need a lot of mercs. What kind of a name is Mercenary 004? The fourth mercenary? What's in these rooms? Why don't you go have a look? Whoa! Blinding lights! I can't <laughs> see! Oh, it's a bathroom. Yep. Could be useful. Uh. Did that just depressurize? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 it didn't. Yes, it did. What? Oh, this, this. Oh, this block's not built. There's a hole in the roof. There we go. Fixed. Interesting you to find the one thing that I messed up. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna get found sooner or later. So, what do you think? Yeah. What is this on the TV? Uh, it's the best thing I could find. There's not much on up here. Looks like a trilobite. Or a horseshoe crab. Ooh, toffee hot chocolate. Does it work? It does. Yeah. I got a space meal bar. Oh, that's an easy way to get food, isn't it? <laughs> right, Wait, how many credits do we have? Oh, because we collected some plate. credits as well, didn't we? Uh, I have 9,800. Where's the credits in? Just in your inventory. Oh yeah, we both have the same amount. So, do you have an idea of what you might do upstairs? I was thinking some sort of lab or something like that. Hmm. Please close the door to the cryo to the med bay room just to keep it pressurized, even if this place loses it. Um. There's another reaver out there. Yeah, I was uh, thinking like. You could use, like, a lab, you could put... Or you could turn this into a bar or a shop or whatever Are you want to do. planning on expanding this anywhere? Uh, no. No, I wasn't. 
I thought this was going to be as big as we went because we'd do more of our efforts onto the booze bus rather than expanding this place. Okay. What do you, re do you reckon that's reasonable? Sure. Okay. Oh, um, have fun. Hmm. I'm thinking for the shuttle, a survival kit, probably... I'm trying to decide whether it's better to go for one large cargo container or two mediums. I worry that if I go for too much cargo, we're never going to get off the planet again. Yeah. But if I don't go for enough, then it's not going to be worth the effort of going down there. Yeah, but it is going to have, like, refineries and things on it, so we can, like, make things into ingots and stuff. Yeah, that's true. The base down there does have refineries, so I'll only be bringing back ingots rather than ores, so I don't need quite as much space. All right, medium cargo as it is. You've convinced me. Mm. How do you feel about moving the beacon somewhere else? Um, I had intended to leave it there. What are you trying to do? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do around it. Well, it's... Like, you can get rid of the catwalks that... Oh, you already did. Hmm. Ah. No, that won't work. Uh, why is the Columbus calling drone support? And very rapidly closing on our position. Yeah, it's probably mad about something. So what were you thinking of putting in this area? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about doing a conference table, but I can't place one on the lit part of the beacon. What if you put it on top of the battery and then put table or something there? Or what if you put a, put a table on top of the battery? Can it attach to that? Uh, no, it doesn't have like side attachment points. No, it's like like the corner lights, the twin ones. Where else could we move the beacon to? Yeah, I was thinking under the the stairs down near the grav gen, maybe. Uh, there's no room for it there. Huh? All those cubes are occupied. Yeah, I meant like these armor blocks oh um yeah I suppose you could do that just make sure you turn the vent to depressurize before you grind any of those wall blocks out uh that's too complicated it's not that complicated just make sure there's no oh, no pressure in here before you do it uh, it's fine I'll work around it no 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 I think it's uh, probably a good spot for the beacon what you do this vent above me, use build vision and set it to depressurize on. It'll now slowly bring in all of the air that's in here. Ugh, I'm suffocating. Really? There you go. You can now cut holes in floor. I'd suggest building the new beacon before you get rid of the old. Sure. As I try and decide if five large hydrogen thrusters is going to be enough. Uh, is the beacon airtight? Uh, no, I don't think so. So you're going to have to deal with that too. I'm not certain, but I don't believe so. I could be wrong. It's been known to happen on occasion. All right, I'm pretty much done in here, I think. Cool. Uh, do you want to come outside and... Have a look at the shuttle, and then I'll come inside, and we'll uh, take a rest in our cryopods. All right, where where are you at? I'm out near the rover. Ah, okay. Uh, interesting. So it's going to be pretty chubby. Oh, the that's eyes... a lot of thrusters on the back. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of them are going to be needed, but I don't want to have too few. The idea is, when it goes down to the planet, it will land, as in the last bit of the landing can be done either with parachutes or with Atmo thrusters. But for takeoff, it'll be a vertical takeoff with the atmospheric thrusters. So I may have to add more of them once we're down there, just depending on how much load we, were, we need to lift. But I, my plan would be to add more small ones around the outside. How Hopefully you, with the two... 
How do you build these half slope blocks? I was trying to find them, but I couldn't They're find them. They're under the corner, light armor corner, two by one by one base stack of blocks. What? Light armor. Corner, two by one by one base. Oh. Yeah, they're in that section. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So, my plan is to do that so that then the atmospheric thrusters can lift off vertically, and then once at a decent altitude, I can tilt and go... Supersonic! Yeah, go forward with the, uh, with the hydrogen thrusters. I don't intend to do a running, um... <laughs> launch like we were te trying to do with the booze bus but uh, I will be adding wheels underneath this I'm thinking potentially eight five by fives but it's going to be quite high set on them but we'll see All see how right. it goes they'll be fairly it's going to have a fairly wide stance on those wheels but it'll mean that these thrusters that are in the middle shouldn't cause any issues and I'm going to add some more small thrusters in the middle too. So we'll probably end up with 12 to 15 small thrusters and two large ones. All right, well, if you want to keep working on that for a bit, I will drag in the solar panel. Oh, yeah. I'll keep welding a couple of things while I wait for you to come back. Well, the batteries are about half full. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad, considering all the shenanigans that were happening. Yeah. You can just turn your script off and then fly it back. It's kind of good timing for us to have gotten onto this shuttle because our water supplies are likely to run out in the next recording or two. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, since we've run out of ice and we don't really want to have to go back to the moon. Alright. Want to see what I've done? Yeah, I do. Uh, Alright, i gotta, I got to warn you though. Why do you have to warn me? Because... Because why? Because I got a bit hungry. Right. And I had a bit of an accident. Oh dear. Why is that glow coming from something? It's alright, just, just come in and close the door. I tried to make myself a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh dear. Look, I can't be held accountable. Kappa. <laughs> we don't need a kitchen upstairs. We've got a kitchen downstairs. I didn't want to walk all the way downstairs, so I built a kitchen up here. But then this happened. <laughs> Very nicely done. Ugh. We need a fire extinguisher. Hang on. Oh wow. Did you did you know that this is back here? It's what back here? What's back here? This this thing here, there's actually like a canister in yeah. the back. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um come back. You've it, hidden the exhaust block, haven't you? What what do you mean exhaust block? The kitchen's on fire. Is it airtight to get to it so I can put out this fire? Oh, Actually, all right. I've got a better way. Yeah. Right, getting rid of the kitchen. Oh, okay, fine. Everything else I like, though. I do like your little um, shuttle you've put there to show off your design versus mine. Yours <laughs> is a one person, though. Uh, yeah, that's true. I didn't do it to show off, I just did it to, to have a nice thing to look at on the, the hollow <laughs> boardroom table. Yeah. No, it's cool. I, I, I genuinely like your little design. Especially the use of the rounded blocks as little tank looking things either side of the cockpit. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing that kind of thing for a while and this is the first time that I've implemented it. Yeah, it's a good option for adding some detail with armor. Cool. Well, next time we'll finish off my shuttle. You'll probably get some more work done on the booze bus, but we'll mainly finish off the shuttle and then head on back down to Purgatory to grab some magnesium and some more cobalt. Okay. And then hopefully launch back up here. 
so that we can arm the booze bus and start moving away from purgatory for good. This is all that. And wait, no. Not moving away from purgatory. Hunting down vessels to be pirates. Yar. That's uh, what's to come. Pirate vessels? No, no, we're the pirates. But you said hunting down pirate vessels. I did. They might be mean. This is all that and plenty. What? They might steal my rum. This is all that and plenty more to come. And Capac's rum. And we will see you then. See you next time, everybody.